the reason why we're here today is to um, also get the Park League decision reversed to give us the chance to show that we can also save money. And these private companies, they'll come in and they'll say, we'll do it for this figure, but they always have clause that costs might blow out or due to this or other circumstances. And nine times out of 10, they exercise, it, they exercise those clauses and end up getting more money out of the government and costing the public more than what it does cost in, in public hands. Well, it's, it's been going um, very good. I mean, we've been here Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we are getting a good response from the public. Uh, we have spoken to the general public and they, 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 they can't believe how a prison can be privatised. You know, it's, um, it's where criminals are kept and it should be run by the government. These people, uh, they're, they're horrified and they, they, they also admit, uh, as you can see, Yeah, good, mate. Good. A lot of public support. I think people are getting the message that, um, I mean, people don't want to see the jails close and become private. A lot of people are coming past. I think a lot of locals might not have even known that the jails are being privatised. And I mean, just to let them know that they are and that it's not a good thing and to, to get them behind us might be what we need to um, stop it from being privatised. The shopkeepers around the area have been saying that, you know, it's definitely tra attracting a lot of attention, you know. And, um, you know, like it's... If people want to come and have a chat to, to us, we'll tell them what, what's happening. And that has happened where a person is driving every day and he stopped and he said, listen, like, what, like, can you tell me what's it all about? And when we tell them, they, they give us 100% support, you know? And that same person will beep every day when they pass. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. I mean, the basic message is that we want the public to know that the jails are being privatised and we want them to know that it's not in their best interest and we want them to get behind us and to contact their local member and Nathan Rees and let him know that this is not on. If he thinks that this is going to happen for three weeks, he has nothing coming, we're going to be more dedicated, we're going to be here for weeks, months, if it, if it comes to it. Because, you know, we believe in our cause and that is to, to keep our jail, keep our rock location and we're determined and um, we will win it. Oh. Yeah, give him a honk, let him know that we're here and that we're not going anywhere until we keep this jail in public hands.